Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. And first at 11, witnesses describe a deafening noise like a plane crash. And then seconds later and miles away, a massive power outage. The White House, the U.S. Capitol, the University of Maryland, just a few of the buildings in the dark today. And tonight we talked to witnesses who heard the conductor fall, interrupting the power supply. Tom Rousey is live on the National Mall with these interviews you'll see only on 7. Tom? And Allison, some other buildings that were affected, including some of the Smithsonian museums like Air and Space here. Folks were out here evacuated earlier today, but as you can see at this hour, the lights are working fine in there. Now, this all started from a place dozens of miles from D.C., and it's a place you wouldn't have expected. This is where the problem started. Rural southeastern Charles County, a conductor fell to the ground at a switching station. Ironically, although it affected electricity for tens of thousands, it happened in an area where many don't use electricity. As crews worked right nearby, Amish farmers continued working the same way they have for centuries. And flames were coming up over the woods. Bernadine Abel Swan is not Amish. Her power went out right away. I thought a UFO was landing on top of the house. It was the noise not the outage that scared her half to death. When, you know, I didn't hear explosions. So it was like, zzz, 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 zzz. But that was a very loud um, sound, not just the way I did it. First I thought a plane might crash in the house, and then I thought the house might burn down. The problem that started in Maryland Amish country wound up affecting some of the most famous buildings in the world, and also one of the most famous well, people. <laughs> The lights went dark at the Warner Theater at an event where Oprah was honoring Maya Angelou. Also, the Smithsonian had to evacuate three museum buildings and classes shut down early at the University of Maryland. The station near Mechanicsville where the conductor fell is where lines from Pepco and Southern Maryland Smeco meet. And it affected customers of both. Technically, this happened on Pepco property. By the way, I just checked moments ago at this hour. There are 17 customers still affected in Montgomery County, five in Prince George's, and none here in the district. Reporting live tonight on the National Mall, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.